I wanted to, I, I was under contract to Warner Brothers at the time. And uh, I had a deal to do a pilot, you know, every year, pretty much. I did 13 pilots, so I did a lot of pilots. Seven television series. Uh, and I was on Sisters at the time, and, you know, it, it was a perfectly good show, but there's no real room for me on that show. Kind of like Facts of Life, I'd come on late, and there was no place for me on the show. And this was a two-hour uh, movie of the week, backdoor pilot, maybe a TV series, maybe not. And I was offered another show for a lot more money. And I just felt like I'd been the second and third and fourth and fifth banana on TV shows for a long period of time. This was the smallest part in the, in the, of the ensemble. But it was working with Steven Spielberg, who just had Schindler's List and Jurassic Park come out, and Michael Crichton with Jurassic Park. And I just felt like, you know, it, I, I wanted to work with those guys. I felt like I wanted to, to work with that, that level of talent and see what it was like. And I, I knew the part was a good part. Um, and I also knew it was, sometimes it's easy when you don't have to carry all the weight. You know, I was, I got to be just the, the guy that, that flirts with the girls, but also likes kids and saves kids. And, you know, whenever you can stick up for a kid as a character, you win. You can do all kinds of rotten things, and you go, don't touch that kid. And everybody's like, oh, he's a good guy. Well, it's hard to describe. I mean, we were doing, like, Friends was a big show, and that wasn't even our lead-in. Um, Friends was a big show, and we were doing 8 million people more at 10 o'clock at night. You know, we had shows that did 40 million people, uh, you know, just regular season shows. Our reruns were, uh, you know, we'd do a 40 share. I mean, just crazy numbers it was particularly the first two years of that show um, it was unlike anything anybody had ever seen and and I can say this because it has nothing to do with me and honestly it has nothing to do with me the show itself was spectacular the ensemble uh, they were so good they you know you could sit with Noah and Eric and Tony and Julianne and Sherry and and n n know that somehow, some way, uh, there was gonna, we were very proud of the fact that no one was chewing scenery. Everybody was underplaying everything and letting everything sort of uh, go by as quickly as possible. And, uh, and that was a real source of pride for everybody, was handing the scene off to other people. And, but the, the writing, the direction, the show itself was just, it was unique. And, you know, when they talk about water cooler shows, that one was literally everybody went to the water cooler the next morning and talked about the show. And I was lucky enough to have the love interest on the show, which was also, you know, an incredible actress in Juliana Margulies. And we, um, we, we clicked right away and have been great friends ever since then, too. But I'm still close to all of them. The AFI Life Achievement Award, a tribute to George Clooney, June 21st on TNT.